Hi there. I'm going to show you how to make this wallet out of some scrap vinyl. Now, luckily, a friend of mine who has a vegan cheese company, Fresh Start, Fromage, it's excellent stuff. She sells across Canada. Um, she recently rebranded her product and, as a result, had a whole bunch of extra signage that she no longer needed for markets and stuff. So I inherited that and was unreasonably excited about it because it's a really durable material that I could make all kinds of stuff out of. Now, I beg your patience because my computer was having some trouble processing the video feed and so there's some artifacting in the video. Hopefully you should still be able to see everything enough to get the instructions and be able to make a wallet yourself. Right, so here are all the tools you could use to make a wallet, but they're not strictly necessary. So let me just clear the decks here and we'll start simple. So I've cut a piece of this vinyl, uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters by nine inches, which might be a little tight. You might want to go 10 inches wide just, you'll see later, there are little flaps on the side, and this will give you a little bit more room to play with. But I'm going to make do with this. So, step one, well, step one was cutting the vinyl. Step two is to divide it into, is fold it into four equal parts. So first time in half, and then each of these in half, I find folding to the middle is just an easy way to keep track of that. So then what you get is the body of the wallet, like that. Now, it'll also help just for measuring things to fold it in half width-wise. So we've got eight equal sections here. Sorry, let me get this ruler out of the way. So, what's next is the side flaps. So, so this could be a little bit tricky. So we need something to cut with. Uh, a craft knife, an exacto knife, something like that. The sharp edge. So we're going to, of these four sections, only one of them is going to need the tabs on it. And the one that we're going to keep is, say, one, two, three away from you. And we'll take about a half inch off the end. Here's a, a little trick. If, if you want to make sure that your ruler is straight, line up the edge of the ruler. This is maybe painfully obvious, but I don't know. It took me a while to learn this. Line up the, where is my top here? You line the, the edge of the ruler with the edge of your, your page that you're working on. So I'm going to take just like a half inch or less off here and leave a little tab. I'm going to cut at a diagonal here and here so that we have like that. And we'll do that again on the other side and remember to keep it in this middle fold. Right. So there we go. These will go in the end slots and hold the wallet together. But not just yet. 
we have something else to do. So here's my wallet and you'll see I've got cards in this slot and then say my business cards in the interior. I find that's just just helpful to keep them separate and then there's a space for money and all. So flip this over and so again this will be we want it yeah just can keep folding it and checking in but we want it in this panel because that will be in the middle of the wallet so I'm going to take a card and I want my middle opening to be a bit bigger than a card so that it can slide in. So make a mark above and below. Which is, let's see, sorry for going imperial here. So it's about two and a half inches. So if I go just a little bit further, like 2.75, or sorry, two and, a, two and a half. So the card is just under two and a quarter inches. That two and a half will be plenty. Um, now you don't want to go too close to these because when it folds that's going to put stress on the material and it's going to pucker and it's not going to look great. So let me make this as tight as possible. So let's see. Now I want to find the, the middle point here. Which will be 2.5, 1.25 is the middle. Now I'm going to use this, which is a radial cutter. But I mean, what you could do is a diagonal. So you don't need a special tool, or I mean, if you want to trace a circle, but cutting a circle out of a piece of paper or vinyl or whatever is very difficult because it it tends to start off and then get a little wonky so you correct and then you recorrect and you correct and before you know it it's it's gone amok so I'm gonna use this tool but yeah if you don't have something like this I would suggest that you just cut diagonals or even a box shape just because that will be easier this is tricky to use because it wants to lift plus the vinyl is yeah I've lifted out of my center point there Let's see. Yeah, not not perfect. But nothing is. So I'll just trim that ever so slightly. Same here. There we go. And then I'm also going to make marks for this card to slide in. So let's see if that's eight and a quarter. And actually, I can cheat here. I have a centering ruler. <clears throat> Great thing, I highly recommend. Um, so, this is a ruler that also has a zero in the middle, makes this kind of thing 
a lot simpler. So if my zero is in the middle, I can I can go out to two and to two and know that I'm doing the same thing on both sides. Let's get zero. That's two and two. <coughs> Excuse me. So here I'm going to use, this is, is kind of an uh, auguring hole punch that, that spins as you push it down. But you can get solid ones of these that uh, for, for punching a single hole in paper. Or again, you could just do, you know, straight lines and then even out the top. But I kind of like the look of having these circles. And then I'll line them up with my ruler and cut out the space in between them. There's one, two. So that makes the slit for the cards. All right. There we go. <clears throat> now I've found with this vinyl, uh, the material that it's it's comprised of it tends to go like candy floss on the edge. So when it's all finished, um, you can take a match and singe that. So here we go. There's oh, just get some scissors here. Just trim that very slightly. Try not to wreck it. There's a line from the Tao Te Ching that says, things are most often ruined close to their completion. And this is definitely my experience in crafts. You're, you're almost finished something, you've done so much work, and then one little thing can screw it up. This is a bone folder. Mine is not actually made of bone. It's like some plasticky Teflon, but they're good for flattening things without leaving a mark. So now what's left is to stick these these tabs into the ends of the wallet. Now once they're in there what you can do is you can you can put a bead of glue inside to hold them. But since this is a daily use thing that might not be enough to hold it. So what I've done with this one is I've given it a run, a very messy run, because that's, that's how I roll, uh, through my sewing machine. But if you don't have a sewing machine at your disposal, what you can do is, um, again, here's a specialized tool. This is for working with leather, and it makes even holes along something, you hammer it in, or you can just use an awl and poke holes. So that's what I've done. Um, I made another one of these earlier, just out of cardboard, and I poked holes and sewed it with this heavy kind of waxed linen thread and a heavy needle. Now because this was so thick when it went in, uh, I had to use a thimble to push it through and I used pliers to pull it out the other end. Sort of like putting in stitches I guess um, because it's it's pretty tough to do otherwise. Now this kind of material shouldn't be that difficult. Um, in fact, you could use something much finer to sew it. it might look nicer. 
Um, so I'm just going to give this a run through the sewing machine. I'll be right back. And so here we have it. A little wallet with a space for cards and things. and that will easily hold Canadian or American bills. If you're in the UK the dimensions will be a little different but it should still work. Um, and again there's a space in the back for things that you don't use so often. So here's the end result which I'm pretty happy with. I'm going to use this one. Uh, sorry that the instructions were a bit rough. I'm still learning how to do the overhead filming and I know my computer was having trouble uh, processing the video feed, so there's some artifacting and stuff. I'll work on all this and I'm learning in public, so hopefully this will be better the next time I show you something. But yes, in the meantime, I hope you got the sense of how to make a wallet for yourself. So until next time, happy making.